Olympic appearance back in 2021. It was supposed to be 2020 games, yeah, but we yeah. had a COVID, COVID year. But I always have to slow down on that part. But anyway, they were there trying to get back. How they do at those Summer Olympic Games, that they finished seven. Well, yeah. Edmund Ho, Najib Chajadeen to officiate this men's quarterfinal action. So when we look at these teams statistically, right, Holt Austria is the worst rebounding team in the field of teams that are left here in the competition. They, through that, they are very low in possessions per game. They are under 30 possessions to get a win in a game of 3C. They've had that until now. Maybe they can get that up. Now, Poland, they are second in rebounding per game, and they are very high in possessions. So, keys for me is can Austria rebound on the other end Austria is one of the hotter shooting teams in the field so can Poland stop the two-point shot well I got a question for you can Poland play without fouling oh yeah. 8.3 fouls per game yes well over the penalty threshold also turning it over nearly nine times a game is Poland if they can clean up some of those issues they're gonna have a better opportunity but it remains to be seen yeah, until we get this 10 minute sprint started, which is about to happen in just a couple of seconds. You're fully right on the fact that Poland's been hacking like a heckler. Play. Look, my question on there and as well is, I mean, first of all, how's Filip Machak knee? Because he went down yesterday, what would look like a bit of a, uh, a knee discomfort. Sokolowski has been so good and the secondary score for them has changed per game so they're tough to scout it was Boguski one game Machak another game and Zebo in their last game well I, I guess that displays some versatility not exactly consistency and I think Austria are playing their best 3x3 at, at the right time they yes. started off with a loss against Puerto Rico by seven points they didn't look good at all Three-point win over Israel, and then a 21-13 win over Hungary, where Boz, they only missed four shots. Yeah, that was crazy. They, they missed four shots total the whole game. An offensive masterpiece. See if they can continue at that type of pace here against Poland. Big red up top, defending. Bozan will get it to Matty Ice, the machine. Oh, I'd, I'd say it's working. Oh, yeah, it's turned on. Oh, the polar bear going at Sonnell. And I think that this is an exploitable matchup for Poland. Sonnell's a, a kind of a new add to 3x3. And to have that assignment against Adrian Bogutski. I'm Poland. I'm looking. I'm looking down low early and often. Yes. They better keep an eye out on uh, on the outside. As Tony Blazon strikes him. Matty Ice, Lud Nortner, just sees it go off the iron. Zebo, the lone Olympian on this team. He's going to draw the first foul on Austria. I don't mind if they go down to Boguchki time and time again, but again, they have to guard as well. Austria is a very good shooting team. All four players on the court, all three players on the court, I mean, all four players on the team can shoot the Wilson from the outside, and that's a mismatch waiting to happen with Boguchki down there. All even to a piece. All done time. That is sticky noted by the paw of the polar bear. Leads to a two ball from Zebo. Blazon trying to answer back. That comes up abbreviated. Loose ball. Look at the effort from Colton Brunner. The jump ball is called. So he sacrificed his body. But look at that. The glass. Oh, it did it. It looked like it did. I'm not sure. No, I, think, I think you might be right there, Blazon. Norton might be challenging that. That did touch the glass first. That should be a goal team. Yes. And I think Lenorton is still trying to work that out, but he can't challenge it. Oh, wow, that, that's unfortunate uh, for Austria there. So Poland got away with one. And Zamoyski is not going to get away with that one. As that off, off arm connected with Colton Brunner's abdomen. Oh, I thought his abdomen. That was, that was more in the uh, chin region. Gave him some sweet chin music. Mm -hmm. 
tough dude, though. Carlton Brunner will shake it off. Yeah, he's gonna, his chin's going to be a little red, but he'll be okay. We'll call him the Crimson Chin from now on. The Crimson Chin? You don't? Have you not watched Fairy Godparents? Never mind. Never mind. I just like the way it sounds. It's the Crimson Chin. That's I it. have no idea what the Crimson Chin is, but I like, I like the sound of it. Okay. It's a good nickname. But has got a Crimson Chin, right? Oh, yeah. See? Carlton, oh, the burner. The burner split through the teeth of the defense. He was flossing. All strings in response. Holy. Zebo, Sokolowski. Couldn't knock it down. Blazan will clear it. And a layup line for him. Smart move. So Kolowski and Zamoyski trying to work some two-man games. Shove is called on the Austrians. Second foul on them. And Machak. Oh, Sonnell picking up a couple of just unnecessary fouls. I've noticed this in Mikhail Sokolowski. He's very good off the ball, trying to get off a screen, breaking, showing contact. And he's gotten in steam a couple of extra possessions through that every game he's played. And possessions mean everything, again, in the sprint to 21. Whatever you can do to get, get that Wilson in your hands. No hesitation. And another and foul on Sonnell. Yeah, he, he's going to get subbed out. Because uh, Austria is up to four fouls, and we're just at over two minutes into this game. Hard to blame him, you know, getting tied up with, with Bogutski, but the other couple of fouls were just mm -hmm. mental lapses. That they don't hurt you now, but they hurt you later. Well, usually the tactic for this team Austria or on the pro circuit, their counterpart team Vienna, is to use fouls as a resource. In 3x3, you can foul reactively, but you could also sometimes foul proactively to keep another team from scoring. If they're in good position, you foul and you put them back on top of the court in a check situation instead of having it scored against you. But if, with the foul rate going like this, they're definitely not doing that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What a shot from the corner. I think that almost hit the magic sky. That had a huge, a really I, high arc on it. I initially thought that it was a, a block. But this shot is in Carlton Brunner's face like a mass compact. 7-5, Zamoyski. No. Carlton Brunner. He will misfire. Boguski tracks down the rebound. And he'll reset in the post. Drops it off to Machak. And Machak will get the strong finish. Poland. Mm. They've been playing perfect like Pierogi. I like this Polish team and the way they've approached this game. I'm, I'm impressed. I'll be honest. Like, Given both of their last bodies of work, and I'm not sleeping on Poland's win over Belgium. Like, that was a big one. Yes. But I thought Austria's win over Hungary at home, you know, they showed a lot of spunk, a lot of fire. I thought they'd have the momentum probably coming to this matchup, but you can never underestimate the heart of these Polish players. No, you're right. They, they look like they are ready to seize the moment. Lazan try to shoot Austria back in it. Matty Ice will get called for the travel for sure. Could see it from up here. The polar bear will finish with the layup. Bogutski. Maybe just 
They nearly, uh, they nearly got in trouble there with a defensive miscom miscommunication, a breakdown. Boguski got out there late. Yeah, but with Sonell not hitting the shots from the outside, that that doesn't matter, right? They haven't been able to attack the mismatch. That is the polar bear. He obviously has a little bit of trouble moving his feet, sticking with shorter def uh, offensive players. But it hasn't resulted in a lot of buckets for the Austrians. Not so far. We're almost four minutes in, and they uh, they've got five points to their name. But a four-point lead in 3x3 is never safe, especially with a two-ball like that. Matty Ice, Knives, 9-7, Zebo in the hall, right back at you. So 11 to 7 as these two teams go back and forth like a debate. Matty Ice sprinting out from the logo. And put that one between the eyes of the polar bear. 11-7 contest. Norton with the jab step. He knew he could get past Bogutski there. Smart decision. But now Bogutski has the answer or the advantage. He had it. Gone now. Possession to Austria. Burnham. Hezzy runs into trouble. Matty Ice. Pass Boguski, ball fake, runner, so. But credit Lenortner for recognizing the mismatch. No need to force a two. Just use that quickness. Sonell getting called for another one. I think Sonell's gotten called for most of the fouls on the Austrians so far. Six fouls on Austria, six on Poland. Two-point lead for the Poles. The Polar Bear will hand it off to Zebo. Zebo, oh, got his cookies nearly snatched. Oh, offensive foul call. He Grabbed on the Blazon's shorts, I think, to try to get past him. Well, Blazon had that man in custody. Didn't even read him his rights. Clean swipe. And that disrupted the entire possession for Poland. So now. Matty Ice. I don't know what he was trying to sell, sell there. Or miscommunicating with his teammates. Lazan will sub out. Compton Brunner will come in. More than halfway finished with this 10 minute sprint quarterfinal. Semifinal Olympic ticket game is next for whoever survives this. So now, long range. That's a good way to make up for some mistakes. He's finally paying. The Polish defense off. Look, they've li they've let him. Oh, southpaw for the polar bear. A southpaw spike from the polar bear, indeed. No, but I'm, I was talking about Sonell. They're letting him open. They're leaving him to shoot. Oh, Gutski couldn't get that one to go. At least the equipment is reliable. Just that that Skelda basket for sure. Shout out Skelda. They have built a durable product when you have a man that large uh, hanging all over it. Adrian Bogutski. The 24 year old who stands 215, weighing in at 125 kilos. Well goes. I see you, Big Red. 15 12. Berna up fakes. Got Zebo on his hip. Lefty lay. No. Boguski will tip it out. He wants the ball in the post. I 
would say the momentum at this moment probably favors Poland, what would you say? Very much so. They've gotten to their spots. They've gotten what they wanted. The Austrians on the last few possessions, some miscommunication, and a lot of individual offense on their end. We're used to seeing them play methodical, team-oriented offense, and I'm not seeing a lot of that. There's some chemistry, obviously, between the Norker and, and Kaltenbrunner. But it's Blazon and Sonell they are kind of outside of the system looking in. They get involved sometimes, but not enough to me. Yeah, well, that that type of chemistry, continuity comes with time. And it's something that they, frankly, just not had, have had a lot of. Just trying to put it together here with an Olympic ticket at stake. They've done enough to, you know, be within reach here. 15 to 12 by no means is this anybody's game with 350 and counting left in this contest. Lenortner wants to get it back over to the machine. The machine to Berna. Berna to Matty Ice. Matty Ice, he be stroking. They go down to the body shop. You're going to get these dents. The polar bear strikes again. It is 16-14, Poland lead. Ice, Blazon falling away. Zebo off the left iron, tracked down by Matty Ice. Oh, the machine is full steam ahead right now. Tony Blazon has been Austria's leading scorer. An easy dump from Sokolovsky. 17-17. We got another game coming down to the wire. Two fifty-four to go. A sprint to four points. Two free throws in front of. Matthias Lenortner. He will connect on the first. Eighteen seventeen. Lenortner. Off the rebound. Oh, Blazon stepping through the entire Poland defense. And nobody home to stop the polar bear. But what a game. 231 left. Austria with a one point advantage. They could win it with a two. The Nortner going for one. No, he kicks it out. Berna. No. Rebound goes to Poland. Zamoyski, I in a two. No. Polar Bear has it. Finds Zebo. Zebo elevates. No. Boguchki has it. And they'll get it reset. From the Ilio logo. Sokolowski. Unbelievable. Poland take the lead. Blazon with nowhere to go. Colton Bruner with the defense all over him. No good. It's coming down to the wire. This ain't no HBO series. This is a 10-minute thriller. Sokolowski! Boska! Moving on! What a finish! Poland refused to be denied. Final spot, the steal, and they pass it with flying colors. Heading to the semifinals with a gutsy win. 21-19 over Austria. Wow. 
Wow. Had no idea who was going to win that game down the stretch as the lead just continued to change hands. Poland make good on their last possession and will sneak away with that victory. Unbelievable. Boz Rosendahl standing by courtside. Let's get it down to him and the lone Olympian, Zebo. Prism's all Ziamoyski. Did he say one more? All right, Zebo. you guys are down, heading into the final stretch of the game. Now you have a new teammate, right? Mikal, is that his name? Did I say that right? Talk about his impact on that final minute here. I mean, for me, that's the best uh, five on five player from our national team. That's why we're so happy that we could acquire him for this tournament. And he proved himself to be an excellent 3x3 player. All right. You have a lot of fans out here. There's a whole section of Polish fans. Any words for them as they support you guys trying to get that Olympic ticket in the next game? I mean, they've just been great all this tournament long. So we're very happy for them. Thank you for cheering for us. And one more thing here. Thanks to our physiotherapist, Marek. Because on the first day, I got injured real bad. I didn't, I, I didn't think I'm going to finish the tournament. But he did a hell of a work. Now Philip is injured. He also put him to back to the game. So we're happy for Marek. Thank you, Marek. Congratulations.